we got the word. We got all your had radio was on their vehicles and stuff. And then our commander called us and said, "On, take all arms off of your weapons, out of your weapons, store them, and re relax. The war is over." Let me need. Whoopee! <laughs> Then we all decided, all right, which, now, where can we go and get in a good shower and clean up? <laughs> From the day we landed in France, we never stopped until we got out of France and been getting ready to move on. And then we got one overnight and one half day break. And gone again. I just don't know how they all did it back then. I don't know, I don't know how it did. See, we made D-Day landing in France on June the 6th. Or 44, and uh, lost a lot of people and a lot of equipment, and it was terrible. But, but by grab, we've lived through it. And, yeah. and they got through all that stuff and got out the other side. And, but they seemed like they'd always put us right in the hot places, you know. We're still in France, and it was in the orchard now, maybe. <laughs> and was getting ready to move. We had to orders to move within an hour and then we was getting stuff ready and all at once here these planes are going over the wire and this one turns come right at us like that and started I, I run and got behind the dead blame tree a little apple tree it wasn't that very room but I hid behind that tree and he shot some limbs off in that tree with 20 millimeter oh my goodness shells and it some bounced off in the half track, not a one of us got hit. And bark flew off in that tree. Now that's how little I got oh behind my that gosh. tree. Oh my What a miracle. And yeah, that's a miracle. I, I never got a scratch all the way through. Yeah, you I, had, 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 had one here on my arm, but that all healed. It just went through my clothes and, mm -hmm. and that was the closest I got. We You're just kept, a going, man. kept going and made the whole second trip all the way through Germany. Too. Mm -hmm. I say I was, I was in the army, and then was a, I was a gun sergeant mm -hmm. and the gunnery sergeant, and then I stayed in there till I got transferred from overseas back to New York, and then I got stationed up by Floyd Bennett Field in New York. We had a 90 millimeter outfit up there for air support and Eastern to make Eastern to come in. And then I wound up there as a platoon sergeant for that. And then that sergeant got transferred out again. And then I was the first sergeant for that, that unit until I got my time in. And I left there and <laughs> come back to Missouri for a while and visited around and then went and signed up for the Air Force. And I stayed in the Air Force till I got my 21 years in. Uh -huh. So and how did the Air Force compare to the Army for you? A lot easier, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, because the Army, you was either marching or cleaning guns or something all the time, see. Mm -hmm. And the, the Air Force, you didn't have all of that stuff. You didn't fall out every morning for Bradley and stuff. Mm -hmm. You went straight to your job. Well, and, what was your and job then, in the Air Force? Okay, I, I was an instructor on B-52 bombers. <laughs> that, that was for for groundwork. I've done the instructing for loading and unloading bombs and stuff like that. I was a good soldier all the way through.